You really have to be able to keep your cool in the stress of the situation, and in a fire, that's a big moment. A startling statistic. Thousands of Massachusetts residents forced from their homes by fires this year. Good evening and welcome to 22 News at 11. I'm Barry Krieger. When it comes to catastrophes, the Red Cross found house fires, the top disaster threat for Massachusetts residents. 22 News reporter Juliana Maz is standing by live in Springfield to tell us about the startling number of state residents left homeless by fire just this year. The numbers are alarming. Close to 5,000 Massachusetts residents were left without a place to live because of a fire. And in most of those cases, the fires could have been prevented. This past year, 4,850 people were left homeless because of fire. The Red Cross found house fires the leading disaster threat to residents in 2014. Many of those fires were preventable. People don't really know what to do with a cooking fire at first. I mean, you have to take different precautions for a grease fire than you do for an electrical fire or any fire, really. The National Fire Protection Association reports careless cooking caused nearly 43% of house fires. That's why you always want to make sure you have a fire extinguisher nearby. And when you have a grease fire, you want to make sure that you smother it. Don't throw water on it. That can only make things worse. Because of the high number of fires, the Red Cross is launching a campaign to reduce the number of home fire deaths and injuries by 25% over the next five years. Um, there's been an alarming rate just recently of, of people that have um, lost their lives in fires that, um, you know, maybe a working smoke detector might have, might have been able to help them. Which is why the Red Cross is working with local fire departments to help install more smoke detectors in your homes. You never know if it's going to go off. So far this year in the Pioneer Valley, the Red Cross has helped more than 150 families find another place to stay. Live in Springfield, Juliana Mazza, 22 News.